really do have nice hair. No, I'm telling you, my dad doesn't pay attention to these things. He's so busy working, he won't even notice. Yeah, I'm sure he's super stressed about his sales job. Hold on a second. Dad, someone's at the door. Hey, honey, can you get in? I'm busy. Ugh. Hold on a second. Well, hello there. You must be young Natalie. Your dad's told me so much about you. Who are you? Oh, I'm Cheryl, your new babysitter. Uh, who's at the door? Some old lady. I think she's lost. Cheryl, you made it. Hey, yeah. Uh, I think your daughter answered the door. She closed it. Oh, she must have been confused. Uh, please, come on in. Natalie, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is your new babysitter, Cheryl. Cheryl, this is my daughter, Natalie. It's nice to meet you, Natalie. A babysitter? Really, Dad? What is this, like the 10th one? <laughs> Nonsense. She's just joking. Natalie, you be on your best behavior now, okay? Dad's headed off to work. I left the list of chores and things that she has to get done, schoolwork. Mm -hmm. uh, will you be okay if I take off now? Yeah, you go. Yeah. I'll be fine. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, Natalie, it is 3.30. What do you say we get off the phone and get started on some of the schoolwork and chores your dad set out for you? I bet he wants those dishes done ASAP. Hey lady, listen to me and listen good. I make the rules around here and I don't have to listen to you. Matter of fact, judging by your look, I don't think anyone listens to you. They only hire you because you're pretty. And I am sure my dad is definitely not different. So, people definitely don't take you seriously. Excuse me? It's nothing personal. But you're definitely not hired for your brains. Uh, I don't know who you think you're talking to with this kind of behavior, but that attitude is not acceptable, Missy. Let me call you back. You know what, Shirley? You're right. I think we started off on the wrong foot. Let me apologize. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty and I felt intimidated. Matter of fact, why don't you sit down and relax while I go do the dishes? That's more like it. I'm glad we found a mutual respect for one another, Natalie. It's super important. I mean, of course, someone as beautiful as you, I mean, look at that hair. Matter of fact, would you like some coffee? You know how to make coffee? Of course I do. My dad taught me. Well, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I would love some freshly made coffee. Okay, let me take him outside to his restroom and I'll be right back. Come on, Helmet. Got your coffee all right. Come here, helmet. Help. Two sugars for me, please, Natalie. You got it.
Is that for me? Of course it is. Enjoy. What is that? Is that what I think it is? Like I said, I run things around here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> From that moment forward, Natalie began to make Cheryl's life a living nightmare. She constantly thought of new ways to ruin Cheryl's day, whether it's contaminating Cheryl's coffee or dumping her own makeup down the toilet. Natalie was determined to make Cheryl quit and Cheryl was determined to stay. Natalie tried every trick in the book to get Cheryl to quit, but she just wouldn't. So Natalie decided to do the unthinkable. You see, Natalie knew that Cheryl had beautiful hair and that her hair was one of her most favorite attributes about herself. So one afternoon, Natalie saw Cheryl taking a nap and decided to do the unthinkable. You really do have nice hair. <laughs> I quit! I'm telling you, man, I don't know what to do. It's like every babysitter I hire quits on me. You know, their mom passing away, me being so busy with work. I just don't have time to raise her like I need to. I'm telling you, man, go with my girl Estella. She's one of a kind. She straightened out my boys last summer. I'll warn you, though, she is a bit, uh, old school. What other choice do I have? I'm losing my daughter. <sighs> I'm telling you, he won't even notice if I snuck out. We should go watch a new Spider-Man movie. Hey baby, can you put your phone down for a second? I want to introduce you to somebody. Uh, this is your new babysitter, Stella. Stella, this is my daughter, Natalie. Hi. Of course she is. Hey, do you mind if I get going? I, I really have to make it. Of course. Yeah. Awesome. You're going for now. I got it from here. How are you doing, young lady? Anyways, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. We should go see the new Spider-Man. Young lady, I need you to hang up the phone. We have business to attend to. No, I'm staring at her now. She looks old and weak. I'm not gonna ask you again. <laughs> she thinks she can tell me what to do? <laughs> hey! Yes, hi, this is Natalie's mom. And right now you're currently talking to a minor trying to get her to sneak out of the house with you. If you ever call this number again, I will call the police and report you for soliciting to a minor. You understand me? Don't ever call this number again or you're going to jail. Hey, that was my boyfriend you just hung up on. Not anymore, he's not. You're 12 years old. You have no business having a boyfriend right now. Hey, listen here, you old hag. Ow, 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 ow! I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that one more time? You can't do that, you, you old hag. That, that's my phone. <laughs> I think it's my age catching up with me or something. I can't seem to hear you. Say it one more time. That's what I thought. Now you're going to learn really quickly who's in charge around here. If you think I'm gonna negotiate with a 12 year old, you have another thing coming. It's my way or the highway. I'm the adult. You can't do that. I have rights. Oh, is that what you think? You're gonna do your schoolwork? You can't do this, this is illegal. Wrong answer. You all done with your schoolwork? Yeah, just finishing up now. That's great. 
I have one more assignment I'd like you to do. This isn't for school. This is more of a personal project. What is it? I want you to write a letter to your dad, apologizing for all the bad behavior and all the headaches you caused him, and for all the times you've lashed out at him. Now, I know you have a lot of anger towards your father, but you have to understand, your dad's all alone. I know you lost your mother when you were just a baby, but he lost his wife and his best friend. And I know he's trying really hard to provide you with a good life. It's not your fault that you didn't have your mother around to teach you how to be a lady. But you know what? It's not your dad's fault either. Come on. Honey? Dear Dad, I'm sorry about the way I've been acting lately. I can't explain how much hurt I've been dealing with inside. I'm not having mom. When I think about how tough it is for me, I can only imagine how tough it must have been for you. You always told me how she was the love of your life, and here I am giving you a hard time about it. You would think not having a mom in the picture would bring us closer together, but it only drew us further apart. I promise to be a better daughter from here on out, and thank you for never giving up on me. I love you, Dad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time you release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.